Good afternoon. Another day and I wanted to just make a quick video here at the office and making my calls this morning and I was grateful I have my coaching calls now on Tuesdays and I'm grateful for my coach because last week I wasn't getting I wasn't getting the results that I desired from my um, from my activities and so we reviewed what I was saying and I, feel, uh, I got some better scripts and pra been practicing them. And uh, it's, been a be it's been better on my calls this week, which I'm really grateful for. And I wanted to share two of Wayne Dyer's cards with us today. Um, I left them at the house, but John just uh, sent me a couple. And I was going to read them to you. I have to pull them up here on my iPad. So, hmm. If I can get into my iPad. Okay, here we go. So, the two I wanted to share today are meditate regularly. And the first one, meditate regularly. I don't know how to get it to keep from moving. It keeps moving. Hmm. Take some time. Hi, Lynn. Are you back from Ireland? Your trip looked amazing. Take time. To be silent and repeat the sound of God as your inner mantra. Meditation allows you to make conscious contact with your source and regain the power of intention. And I did not understand really what meditation is, and I maybe don't exactly understand still. But for me, I take time to be silent every day, and I say my prayers. But after I say my prayers, I take time to listen. And I have actually learned how to stop my thoughts so I can listen and connect with uh, with God or my source, as Wayne Dyer calls it. So I think that as we take time to be quiet, we can get ideas on how to solve some of our problems or business ideas. Or I just think that finding a place to be silent and quiet can be really good. And it, and this says that it, and it helps you regain and it, uh, your power of intention uh, and get in contact with that and so I would take time I think we're so busy we're always running here and running there and we always have music playing or books on tapes playing or on the phone or playing games and oh I love you cutie pie you're so cute thank you so much I think that in our world it's just constant busy 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 and we don't always take the time to have some downtime and quiet every, every day and um, it's so important to be quiet and listen and get connected to your source and, and, and have that time to be quiet and enjoy yourself, right? I'm going to read you the next card. Practice unbending intent, I think is what it says, right? Yep. And so here's the second card, and I'll post these down below after. It says, when you practice unbending intent, you match up with the intent of all of the all creating universal mind. So keep a solid picture of the task you want to accomplish in your mind and refuse to let that intention disappear. Hey Terry, how are you today? And I think this, I'm going to read this one one more time too. It keeps turning. I'm going to find out. I know there's a way to keep this from turning, but I don't know. I'm going to learn how to do that. When you practice unbending intent, you match up with the intent of the all-creative universal mind. So keep a solid picture of the task you want to accomplish in your mind and refuse to let that intention disappear. So you have to visualize what you want to appear, what you intend. I'm not supposed to use the word want, okay? What you intend to have um, appear in your life, right? And so... I, oh, sorry, the air conditioner just went off in, in my room, and it's kind of loud, so hopefully it doesn't bug you too much. The picture, that's why I have my dream book, and I review that frequently. You can make a dream board. I also visualize when I sell a house giving keys to someone and how excited they are, or if they're selling their house and they're not buying another house, how excited they are that uh, whatever they were intending to do with the money I visualize the money being wired from escrow into their bank. Anyway, it's very important to visualize peace and happiness. Uh, someone sent me a message this morning and said, you know, how do, 
how do we live in such a toxic world? And I said, you know, there's an af she asked for an affirmation on that. And my body rids toxins quickly and easily, right? Make affirmations. I am peaceful. I travel in safety and peace. And when you see an accident on the freeway, I said this before, send those people help and love and, and a quick prayer for them and say, that's not for me. I travel in safety and peace. Because what we focus on expands. I can remember when I was in uh, Las Vegas and my daughter was a new driver and my dad was in the car with us and he told her that this was the worst off-ramp in Las Vegas and they have more accidents. Uh, and he's seen all these accidents on this off-ramp while we were on our way to a restaurant and um, lo and behold my daughter got into an accident a few minutes later right on that off-ramp that my dad told us that we you know everyone gets it on an accident on and so the power of intention is is very real and luckily we were all fine the car you know was hurt and that lady's uh, car was hurt the cars but the cars are replaceable so it was no big deal but I'm just saying it's powerful powerful what we say, powerful what we think about, and we do attract it into our lives. The universe doesn't understand not, it just brings it in. And so make sure what you think about is what you want to have in your life. The other two things I wanted to talk about really quick before I go get lunch is complaining and being a, is a garbage magnet. I caught myself complaining quite a bit yesterday, and uh, I'm going to work on that. And then uh, the other thing is not gossiping, and really complaining is can be gossiping if you're complaining about people and uh, I did both yesterday and I'm gonna work on that it's an everyday thing something I'm also grateful for I showed up to work today and there was a bag full of socks to take up to Skid Row with me um, I gotta find out who they're from I'm pretty sure. uh, I think they're from Michelle but I'm not sure some other people told me they're gonna bring me blankets and socks so if you can bring me blankets and socks Write in your gratitude journal the 10 things you're grateful for every day, 10 new things that you're grateful for every day. And um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I think that's it. I'm working on making my calls and setting my appointments today. Uh, I think the market might be shifting in real estate. I'm not sure. You know, the, uh, a lot of people are uncertain about the election, and uh, there's a lot of uncertainty in our country. And just if you know someone who's thinking about selling, let us know because uh, used blankets are okay, Lynn. I'll come pick them up at your house. Yeah, I'll even wash them for you if they're not washed. Let me know. I'll come get them because I only have three more days to collect a whole bunch of blankets and I don't have them. So I would love used blankets. I'll, if they're in good shape, let me know and I'll come get them, okay? My phone number, I'll give it to you really quick so you can write it down. It's 562-221-7744. Call me or text me. That's 562-221-7744. And um, I'll swing by later today on my way home from work and get them at your house. So what else is exciting? Um, I can't remember. Working on not gossiping. Working on not complaining. Working on helping people be aware of what's going on in the market and um, making good decisions. Uh, because the only thing that the only market we have control over is the market we have today. I don't have a crystal ball. I like it when people ask me, what do you think is going to happen in the market? If I knew what was going to happen, I wouldn't be selling real estate. I'd be paying, uh, having people pay to use my crystal ball, right? <laughs> Holy cow, wouldn't that be amazing? Anyway, you guys have a good day. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go to In-N-Out actually right down the street here and have a protein styled hamburger and then come back and make more calls. But yeah, if you want to donate blankets, use blankets, new blankets, socks, I'll take them. And uh, remember to meditate daily. Take time to be quiet. I think you'll feel more peaceful. And you'll find it. It's harder than you think to control your thoughts and to slow it down to where you think. Uh, I tell people, when you pray, if you do pray, if you close your prayer after you did all the talking to God, and you don't take any time to listen, it would be like calling someone on the telephone and saying everything you had to say and then say bye. You wouldn't do that, right? When you talk to someone on the telephone, you take a turn of talking and then they respond and they talk for a while and you talk back and forth, right? And, and prayer or meditation should be just like that. We should, if we're in prayer, you should take time to listen. 
I tell people, listen as long as you spoke. And, and, and make sure you're not thinking about other things. That's the trick. And I, I know that people are probably have more information about meditation than I do. Um, and if you do, post it and share it here with us. Also, if you want to join us, we're going to start doing yoga at our house Monday, 745, $10 donation class. Isabel's awesome. You know, you guys have a great day. We are healthy. We woke up today, and we have a wonderful day ahead of us. So there's nothing better, right? And it's Tuesday. Tomorrow's the best day of the week. I get a letter from Carter, an email. And so that's my excitement. I'm going to go get some lunch and uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Remember, choose the right because you're worth it. You're special and unique. Why not have a wonderful, great life? Send peace, love, and happiness to everyone. And um, we'll talk to you later.